Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna go over my top five must-have mods or just things that you need to get for your Supra. I went over the top nine items that you should get in the other video, but I wanted to update that a little bit, kind of condense it. Hopefully this will be pretty useful for you just because there's a lot of different things, a lot of different items that various owners recommend on getting for their cars. But I've owned, if you're new to my channel, I've owned this car for over two years now. I think over almost like two and a half years at this point, almost 51,000 miles on this car. So I've spent plenty of time with this car. A couple of owners make lists of what they want or wish that they should have, but they haven't owned it as long as me. So let's go over those things. I'm sure you guys are eager to know what I am glad that I got on this car, what I would recommend for you guys to get. And maybe one thing that if you guys watch my other videos, you know what, I, what that one thing would be, what I wish I got from the very beginning. So let's go over it. All right. First two mods we're going to go over is actually aesthetic and we're going to stay outside of the car. It is definitely 100% lowering springs. You guys can't necessarily see it. And then aftermarket wheels. So I apologize. I'm going to apologize in advance if you guys are one of those people that just love the two tone wheels. But I personally really, I, I hate it. It just looks so tacky. And honestly, it doesn't match with just the overall aesthetic of the car. So. What I'm running, if you guys are not aware of what wheels these are, these are TE37 Sagas, 18 by 10 in the front, 18 by 11 in the rear, plus 25 offset in the front, plus 34 offset in the rear. I go over my experience with these wheels and suspension set up in another video, so I'll link that in the description box below. But I mean, just look at this. I'm gonna step out of the camera just so you guys can see it, but I know I'm pretty biased when I say it because this is my car, but damn, I mean, the aesthetic of this is just so, mm, just so, just, just, it's, it's just awesome. Like it's perfect for me. And honestly, with the amount of miles that I have on this car, it rides great. I mean, I've had a couple of buddies with Supras and other people who's ridden in my car. And honestly, they were pretty surprised how well my car rode because typically if you guys are not aware of how low cars ride, is there's always a compromise, right? Aesthetics with the performance of the car. But I mean, just in terms of like handling, I mean, I haven't taken this car to the circuit. I've taken it to the drag strip. And as far as I can tell with those, with my experience on that department, it's it's been fantastic. So I'm running Eibach Pro Lowering Springs. Highly, highly recommend it. And I decided not to go with a coilover setup. And this is just in general for this platform, if you guys are not aware, is that this car has adaptive suspension. So whenever you have it in normal, it's, it's at its most comfortable setting. And then once you put it in sport, everything stiffens up a little bit, nothing too unbearable, but it's just a little bit extra. And adding the springs on here, it keeps that adaptive suspension. And honestly, it's pretty close to riding sock. So I have to start off my list with those first two. Let's keep on going because I'm sure you guys are eager to see what the other mods are. So let's go over those. All right, we're gonna stay outside for the next mod and it is a ground effects kit. So what I mean by that is either a front lip, a splitter, side skirts, and then, you know, optional is the rear spats. So what I'm running on my car is M MFR engineering, front splitter and side skirt kit. This is 100% metal and on the front, it is actually chassis mounted. So I'll just show you guys real quick. This is not going anywhere. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but my car is actually shaking to verify with you all that it is actually chassis mounted. It completely changes the look. I mean, just a ground effects kit, not necessarily just specific to this one. It changes the look of the car. So you pair that with the wheels and splitter kit, lowering springs or coilovers, whatever you choose. And I mean, it just changes the look of the car. Cause for me personally, when I first saw the Supra in it's completely stock form, I, I was pretty underwhelmed. It just didn't match the curves of the car and just the presence on the road. And once, you know, I saw, I actually bought this car with the lowering springs installed already and the ground effects kit and my mind 100% changed. And, you know, even me seeing a couple of cars on the internet with a lowering springs and wheels, I was like, I was 100% sold. So no offense to you guys who like this completely stock form, but 
I mean, just those three simple mods, like if you guys are just wanting to abstain from performance mods, 100% recommend it. I mean, just look at this thing. You'll definitely get compliments on it. It's funny because even sometimes while I'm filling up at the gas station, I mean, I get compliments about it. Or I mean, even from non-car people. So definitely get it. Check out MFR Engineering. I am not sponsored by them, but I'm just so happy with how this car sits with them, including the wheels and lowering springs that I just have to recommend it. So check them out. So that's the third thing. Let's go over the last two things on my list. Okay, number four on my list. I mean, it's kind of a combination, so I'm cheating here a little bit, so I apologize in advance. We have the hood pop just because this is the performance mod that I think that every single super owner, if you have the option to, you definitely should do. So if you have a 2020, your job is actually easier because your ECU is unlocked. If you have a 2021, depends on your ECU date. I have another video discussing that. Check it out below. And then also for those with a locked ECU, there's still options for you, so you can still go this route. 100% I recommend, if you're not gonna do any other performance mod and you just have to choose one, it is this, a downpipe and an E50 tune. I'm combining those two because you can't do a, well, catalyst downpipe specifically. You can't do a catalyst downpipe without a tune, obviously. And then if you're gonna be in that realm, you might as well go ethanol. So this car is direct injected and it actually can take on the stock fuel system, I think E60 based on what my tuner Mikey body said, but E50 tune, downpipe, and you're pushing like 500 wheels, 600 foot pounds of torque, like just from, just legit from those two mods. You can go here on YouTube, use the search bar above and search for people, you know, going to Mexico and racing V8s, even supercharged ones with the, just those mods. And I mean, they're either outright beating them or keeping up with them. And I mean, that's so damn impressive. I personally think that at that power level, it is 100% perfect for the street. So I'm far from that. I have a couple of other videos explaining what I have done specifically to my car. Go that route, you guys will not regret it. And you don't have to necessarily be hungry for power like I am. You can just do that and you've got a very capable street car. Super easy to install actually, even though like this is like a rat's nest of just wires and stuff. Don't let that scare you if you guys are one of those DIY folks. This car is pretty easy to work on. I've upgraded the turbo, did that myself and um, did the you know port injection kit and then the wiring related to that. And it's pretty user friendly. So if you guys are just gonna do the downpipe, Go for it, you guys will not regret it. And then also add that E50 tune. So let's go over the last thing, the most important thing that I think that every super owner should get, whether you are getting it used or new. And let's go over that right now. Okay, we are back to the front of the car, as you guys can see. And again, like what I was saying, if you guys have watched my other videos, I mentioned this over and over again, but the last thing that you guys should get for your car, number five, is 1000% PPF. This car, that that is my biggest wish that I got for this car. So I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so I should have done this from the very beginning. And if you guys know me personally, you guys might've been telling me this already, but I was a hard ass and I didn't listen. So I apologize in advance, but get PPF for this car, just because of how low it is, especially when you add the lowering springs to it. When you're riding on the highway or even just enjoying it on the back roads with your friends with sports cars, rocks are gonna get kicked up on your car. And just the way the hood is and how long it is and then just how low the front bumper goes, you're 100% gonna get rock chips. So it's not cheap to repaint the hood and the front bumper on this car just because of how big the surface area is. And then of course, if you guys are gonna go the route that I am, getting it repainted and then getting PPF, I mean, essentially you're paying extra just to get to the point where you should have gone originally. So take it from me, you at least get the hood, the front bumper, and then I'll show it with the B-roll, but the front fenders on this car, at least get those PPF if you can. You know, you can do the rest of the car if you want, you know, maybe even do the front windshield just because I covered this in a previous video of how expensive it can be to replace the windshield on this car just because you have, you know, the heat, it's heated. And then also you got the sensors on there. So it's not just a plain Jane windshield that, you know, cars from the mid 2000s, early 2010s had. Everything's got sensors now and that includes the windshield. So 
Go ahead and just do that and you guys will thank yourself later. I guarantee it. So there you guys have it. Top five things that I think that every super owner should get if they are new. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, you know, just good combination of stuff you should get. So sum it all up, lowering springs, wheels, ground effects kit, downpipe and E50 tune, and then PPF. If you guys think I miss anything, let me know. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know as well. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given me throughout this year, ever since I started making videos again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.